Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be reviewing the brand new Bullex Neo update which is called Hypervision. At the moment it's in beta but it's got some really great features that allow you to just use Bullex Neo and not have to use a lot of these other tools. So we're going to get into what's changed and how you can use this properly to elevate your meme coin trading. So obviously there's filters and everything you can use so i'll show you the filters later on if you want to see all the filter settings but we're going to get into how you can actually use this to actually make sure you can get more money from your meme coin trading so one brilliant feature that they've added and i'm so in love with this is a free twitter tracker i'm glad that bullocks neo have done this so obviously we've got a free twitter tracker that you can use in the discord below with some other great meme coin trading tools at the moment i'm still updating some of the stuff like the multi buy alpha um, i'm improving the multi buy alpha from other ones that have actually recommended and just optimizing the meat the optimizing the whale wallets that are basically being put into this multi buy alpha to make sure that you get the best pumps from these multi buy alphas so Go ahead and join that. The multi buy alpha will be coming this week. Uh, it does have a smart wallet tracker and everything else like that. But that is just third if you want to. With Bullex Neo Hypervision, if you just like to have it all in one place and not have loads of windows open, I'm going to show you how you can set up the wallet tracker on Bullex Neo Hypervision as well. To basically use a strategy that I've been showing with the Discord tools, you can basically use this all in one place in Bullex Neo now. So you've got a Twitter tracker. So if you click on the Twitter tracker at first, it will open like this, which is a bit annoying because if you, you know, wanted to trade any of the memes that are going across right now, um, and you'd have to click off the Twitter tracker to go on. But there is an option, which is even better, which I love just to lock it to your screen. So you click lock, and then this will be locked to your screen. What's great about using the Bullex Neo Hypervision Twitter tracker is that everyone who is using Bullex Neo is also going to be looking at this Twitter tracker. So. If you've got a Twitter tracker, like a CT tracker that tracks loads of different tweets, it's great. It still works. It still works absolutely fine on the Discord and everything. But it's just great to have it in one place and to know that all 400,000 plus Bullex Neo users are going to be looking at it as well. So it does update quite quick. It's in beta at the moment. So I believe soon it will be updating even quicker as well. One great thing as well, when you scroll over it, it pauses it. So you can scroll over and pause without new tweets being added all the time. That'll just So usually on Discord, if new tweets are being added, then like it'll pop up and sometimes you've got to like scroll down and it, it can be a bit of a pain, but it pauses. And then when you go off, it'll refresh and update with new tweets. So that's great. I really like this Twitter tracker. Best update of Bullex Neo yet, in my opinion. If you want to set up the wallet tracker alerts, so you can have like a smart wallet tracker just like i have then come over to alerts right here and then you can see basically what we'll do is we'll track loads of new whale wallets in a moment but all you do if you go over to here and click lock then you can lock it to your screen and have it open at the bottom of your screen so you don't have to have discord and everything else open as well at the same time how do we get the best wallets onto this so go to wallet tracker if you click the link in our description below, we have a list of mean coin whale wallets that we update as much as possible with the best whale wallets that we've been tracking. So if you want to find that, just sign up to our newsletter, click on that link, sign up to our newsletter. Then it'll be sent to your email with the spreadsheet link. You just click on the spreadsheet and that'll be updated as much as possible. We don't throw random wallets that aren't really going to do well in there either. So they're, they're quite optimized. So once you've got that list, just basically copy it come over to import export and paste the wallets into it for some reason i don't know if it's just because bullex neo is lagging or there's a little bug but for some reason it's saying invalid import configuration for me um this should work though it should just be like this you paste it in with all of the wallet addresses and it'll be added which is great or you can click add wallet give the name of the wallet address so this is geek and then the uh, what's it called click add wallet and then it'll be added so then you've got the wallet tracker there and you have the alerts now the way this would work with my strategy is you'd have loads of whale wallets there and if three or four different whale wallets all bought into a token pretty much at the same time then that usually indicates that there's going to be a pump don't know how much that pump is going to go up by usually if it matches a trend on twitter 
uh, and whale wallets are buying into it at the same time, then usually it's going to go for a bit more of a pump. It depends on the trend and everything else like that. But that is a strategy that I've been using to make sure that I can make some money every single day with mean coin trading. So that's great. We've got the wallet tracker, but now we'll go through the actual changes to Hypervision and what is great. So for the filters, I'm going to show you the filters quickly. I'm not going to bore you with the filters and go, well, this is the reason why we're doing this and all that. These filters, you can change them to however you like and whatever's best for you. In my opinion, these are really great just to basically help identify runners. So all you got to do, dev holding maximum 10%. Inside a wallet supply, maximum 30%. And the maximum market, I mean, sorry, the minimum market cap, put it to 14,000. Or you can put it to 10,000 if you want to find a bit more. But just keep a, keep an eye out that these could also be rugs. And then token age, maximum 10 minutes, and then apply. Um, you can change these around as much as you like. But from researching and watching other people's videos, I found that these settings, are, everyone's been using these settings, basically, and it's been helping them. So about to graduate, Filters over here, dev holding maximum 10%, minimum holders 100 inside a wallet supply, maximum 30%. You could even change this a bit if you wanted to, so it's 20%. I've been doing that, but then it, it takes away a lot of the about to graduate section, and you could miss some. So I put it to 30%, and then token age 30, 30 minutes, and that's sound. The graduated section, you need to be a bit more fuller with this. So Dev holding, put max 10%. Holders, put minimum 10%. Inside a wallet supply, 30% maximum. Bot users, a minimum of 50. Volume, put it to 50,000. Market cap, put it to 100,000. And then token age, uh, put it to 200. Some people have been doing it, it's like 300, 400, 500 minutes. I put it to 200. It just narrows down the results for me. I want to be finding pretty fresh tokens that are brand new to be honest um especially with trading a strategy if they're quite old then i feel like i've missed the boat of the initial pump and uh, i'm not even interested in them to be honest but that was a filters but now there's some other great features on the meme decks that have changed as well so if you can see this gold crown icon right here if you click on it so this basically shows you what tokens they've created in the past and how many have migrated which is great so if you've seen that they've created tons of tokens in the past then stay away. But if you've created a couple tokens and the majority of them have migrated, then you could potentially use that as a strategy to track the next token that this person creates. So all you got to do is set up an alert for them and follow them. Then you can use this strategy to track what tokens you create. The, major the likelihood is that they're probably still going to rug pull but they'll probably rug pull after it's migrated or they'll sell some after it's migrated. So you can use this as a tactic to follow the people who get tokens migrated quite easily and then invest into that as well. You can use that strategy, but it, it is risky. That is one thing. You, it is risky if you do that, but it, it can definitely help. And I really like the fact that you can see all these migrated tokens. But if I've seen someone, right, let's say this guy, for example, and he's migrated two tokens, but then he's created so many other ones that have not migrated, then you know it's probably best to stay away from that token. So I'm going to quickly delete the filters real quick just to show you another great feature. So one brilliant thing about these filters is it sort of just gets rid of all of these to be honest it gets rid of all of the bad ones but i'll show you an example if you're just scrolling through the meme decks like this trying to find new tokens i'll show you an example of bad tokens to get into so usually you'll see with some of them a red x at the bottom now this is just a twitter rename feature that is similar on other exchanges like gmgn etc and it just shows you how many times people have used that Twitter account and renamed it. Usually that's an indicator that they've created other tokens in the past that have rugged. So if you can find that and it shows up the red X next to the name, then stay completely away from the token. You, you want to be investing into tokens that are raw greens. And obviously, sometimes it'd be better if the devs sold all of the tokens. I don't usually like it if the devs hold in more than 10%. So this one's a bad example. Uh, but yeah, usually if the devs holding, some sometimes you can wait for, if it's like a trending token for the dev to sell. So I like to have the dev um, the the dev still holding some of the tokens on this because if they've not sold and it's a trending token, I can wait till when they sell and then I'll see right 
is if it's still got a lot of volume and still going back up, then you could potentially invest into that token. So just scroll. If you don't know what these little icons mean, by the way, just scroll over them. This is just how much the top 10 is holding, how much the dev holds, how much are insiders and how many are snipers. So you want to be staying away from tokens that don't have many snipers and don't have any insiders. That is essentially what you want to be looking for and that don't have a massive top 10 holding. In addition to that, Bullocks Neo also have a snipe feature on about to graduate. So if a token is about to migrate or is migrating, you can snipe the migration. So let me try and find an example and remove the filters real quick. So this one is migrating over. Obviously, I'm not going to invest into that. Look at that. 64% insiders, 17% snipers, 60% of the top 10 is holding more than 50%. Ugh, horrible. So if you click snipe though, let's say for example, we were going to get into this token. You can either buy in on migration or sell on migration. So if you get into a token that's migrated, you can now go over to the snipe sell option and just sell a migration. So let's say you invest into 20, in, in 20K market cap, it migrates at around 90K, something like that. You can basically sell it the minute it gets migrated. Now you can keep the free to pretty much the same, to be honest, unless you're doing like 10 sol plus. I just like to keep this free normal and it usually works quite quickly. Um, you can customize the slippage if you want to, I just put it as limited if we're sniping selling. Now, uh, this is one thing that has actually changed the market a bit that I've noticed in the past week. So this is one thing to keep an eye out. For some of the tokens that are not matching a trend or not matching much at all, the majority of people are now using this migration and sniper feature if they're just getting into a token that's quite early. A lot of them are using this migration and sniper feature and it's so annoying. <laughs> It's so annoying because you get into a token early and it'll dump off massively, more than it ever has before because of this feature. So it is great if you're using this properly because a lot of them that are about to migrate, if they're not matching the trend, like I said, they'll just dump. So if you're doing that feature and you think this isn't gonna, this doesn't have much legs, just dump on migration, use that snipe feature and dump on migration. So that's pretty much all the changes for Bullex Neo Hypervision. I hope you've enjoyed this video. There's very small, small changes with this, but it's made Bullex Neo even better than before. And to be honest, one thing that I've just got to note out as well, you cannot use Bloom with this platform. Um, I was using it the other day and they basically disabled my account for a couple minutes and then threatened to permanently get rid of my account, which I do not, but all the, the only reason why they are doing that is to make sure everyone deposits into Bullex Neo directly. As you can see, I've not deposited in Bullex Neo because I use Bloom. With this new feature, they've also done it to just sort of counteract the sniper bots and to make it faster so that people that are using Bullex Hypervision don't really have to use the sniper bots like Bloom and Nova bot. So th that is why they've done it and to also make sure that nobody's putting Solana into something different and then using a the platform. So Bullex Neo Hypervision now has so much quicker trading time and it is really quick. So you can use this um, if you don't want to use like Bloom and Nova Bot to trade then this can really help as well to get you in and out quickly if you don't want to use all those external things. This, to be honest, in my opinion, is the best option out at the moment if you don't want to use Bloom or Nova. So thank you for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more trading content.